Okay, he's going to be there, what, tonight through Sunday, right? Yeah. Tonight through Sunday. Everybody say good morning to Midnight Swinger hanging out with us today. Hey. Good morning. What's going on, man? It's great. How are you guys doing? Excellent. It's good. like 4 o'clock in the morning for me. Right, yeah. Oh, you're <laughs> on, like on LA time? Yeah, Vegas. Oh, you're from Vegas? Yeah. Oh. I live in Vegas. Oh, I love Vegas. Great town, isn't it? It is. I, I don't know how you could live there, though, because I can't seem to spend any more than five days without just completely losing it. Well, because you're probably an alcoholic and have a gambling problem. That's very true. <laughs> yes. You're very observant. All those things. <laughs> right. But once you live out there, you learn to... The word moderation comes into a play a lot. Really? So. See, because I don't even moderate even when I come back here. <laughs> I'm still all about the, the Indian casinos and going to the bar and having rum runners. I was actually staying at the hotel this morning, and I got up at 6 o'clock uh -huh. um, to get picked up to come uh, to come here. And down in the lobby, I kid you not, it was like um, the AARP had a convention. <laughs> and there's like, and there, I guess they've been up since 4. Right. You know, waiting yeah, that's time. because they had dinner at three thirty in the morning in the afternoon. <laughs> right. And now they're having breakfast at two. Exactly. And all they're doing is waiting for the bus to take them to the casino. That's it. And I'm thinking, you guys are it's like, it's like oh, this these so the sausage here is a little bit it's a little dry. <laughs> and I go, Really? That, that's yeah. your complaint, the that's sausage. The big complaint. Little, and they're like going, We're gonna win big. We're gonna win big. I got a, I got I got vouchers of pennies. Oh, it's gonna be great. Oh. You know, I I won ten thousand pennies last night. <laughs> Right, you got ten bucks. Congratulations. Right, yeah. Good for you. See, I, 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 back in the day, I mean, I'm 40, uh -huh. and when you know, living in Vegas, was a time when you actually had to carry around a bucket of quarters. Oh my God. And you had to pull. I know. Look how young you are. Yeah. And you had to pull <laughs> the handle. You know. What? And now, now you get these slips of paper. I mean, real gamblers. Yeah. Back in the day, even like 80, 90 years old. They had their oxygen tanks, the willing that behind them, they're dragging it, a 20 pound bucket of quarters behind them. Right. They got one arm stretched out like uh, uh, Stretch Armstrong. The other Armstrong is like John Claude Van Damme, like, because you're no mercy, because you're attacking it. <laughs> That's beautiful. They make it much easier now. All yeah. you need to do is just, you know, it's, it's all credits now. Yeah, but, but it's, it's that fake sound of money falling yeah. that bothers ding, me. Ding, 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 right. ding, 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 ding. They have, actually, I think we have that sound effect in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. That should be everybody's Motorola Sprint ringtone. Just right. Like, oh, yes. I mean, if you never want to gamble again, every time your phone rings, ding, 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 doesn't look sound like but at least you won, you know? Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. what, what. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Yeah, when you, when you put your money into the machine, the right. sound comes out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's because they won. Because they won, yeah. yeah. We're going to win big. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no. I've been to the casino. Stay around long enough, you're going to lose it all. That's right. That's the way that it works, right? Well, the, the bet, uh, when I was uh, at Bally's years ago, back in like 93, 94, the pit boss said, if you your best bet, Vegas, if you had like $5,000 and you want to double it, the best bet is to go to any roulette table, pick red or black. That's uh -huh. your. That's your. Those are your best odds. That's it. Is well, the it's best like odds. 50, 50. It, yeah. It, it, well, it's more like 47, 47 because there are two green. Uh -huh. um, but um, if you like, go, I'm gonna play blackjack. I'm five thousand dollars. I'm gonna play blackjack for seven hours. No, you're gonna lose five thousand dollars. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trump as hell. I'm gonna yeah. go lost five thousand dollars. Well, because Vegas loves to like going. It's like going, hey, welcome to the uh, five dollar uh, blackjack table. Can I offer you a drink? Yeah. Why? Yes, you can. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Three minutes later, hey, welcome to the five dollar blackjack table. Can I offer you a drink? Well, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Next thing you know, it's 7 in the morning, you lost 5 grand. Yeah. yeah. And they're like going, what happened to all my money? Well, your drinks are now gone too, so how long right. yeah, going you got to go. <laughs> no more money, no more drinks. That's right. That's the way that it works. <laughs> Damn it. That's crazy. What a weird, messed up town. I mean, it's a, it's a great town, but it's just weird. It's, it's got to be very surreal living there. Well, you get used you get used to the whole vibe of Vegas once you live there. You learn all the inner workings. It's kind of uh -huh. like um, it's kind of like if uh, you go to Magic Kingdom, right? And you get to go to Space Mountain and you get to see it with all the lights on. Yeah. You think he's like, oh my God, is that duct tape one attracting? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you kind of, you kind of see the inner workings as far as right. You know what really goes on. What are, What are some like tips? Of, if, if someone's going to go to Vegas, what's something that they should know? Like they should do? Don't or they should watch not the do? Hangover, then go to Vegas. 
movies and try to recreate it. Oh. <laughs> or, I'm, or, tell, or I'm, tell, I'm telling you right now, you throw a mattress out of a window at Caesars, they're going to figure out where it came from yeah. and you're going to go to jail. Very true. <laughs> That's very, very true. And, and, and getting tasered ain't going to get you out. No. <laughs> Not even if you take one in the head. We yeah. have so many college kids come back home, hey man, we saw the hangover on the flight over on our iPods, man. Oh, We're going to no. do the whole thing. we got to find the wedding chapel. <laughs> Where's that wedding chapel guy? Really? Yeah. Really? That guy. Yeah. Who's a professional comedian who you might have seen yeah. many times. Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. So how are you? What, what is great. your shtick? Tell me about the shtick. The Midnight Swinger. Midnight Swinger. It's a uh, it's an old Mel Torme song about okay. Uh, okay. called the Midnight Swinger, and uh, I do a Vegas style show. I perform at the Riviera, <laughs> right, right? And I uh, take my Vegas show to uh, the rest of the country. People who can't go to Vegas, I bring a little bit about what a Vegas show feel, the vibe of a Vegas show. Now there's uh, there's some swinging cats out there in Vegas. A couple, one or two. A couple, one or two. <laughs> you ever run into uh, our good pal Richard Cheese out there? I I I've met Richard when I don't know Richard, but okay. I've met him. Um, friends a strong word. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but uh, I know who he is, and we've shook we've shook hands a couple of times. I've been to his show. I think he's been to mine. So. Do you, so should I take all my money that I have in my pockets and throw it out the window? On the drive over to Captain Brian's, so it feels like Vegas. <laughs> no, so I can like you no, know. I, I, what, here's how I feel like Vegas. Come to the show. I'll punch you in the gut. Okay. Then I'll kick you in the balls, <laughs> and then I'll take your money, and then you'll be like, "Oh, thank you, for, thanks for letting me come to your show." And you'll spend, <laughs> That's uh, like Vegas. You'll spend forty dollars on ten chicken wings. <laughs> I was gonna and get dessert, Captain Brian. <laughs> it's All like, this and no flight. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it seems to me like that that you and uh, Richard Cheese should do some somewhat of a tandem. Type show together in Vegas. I mean, I think this would be this would be a huge success. <laughs> well, Rich, Rich is doing very well. I'm doing very well. Maybe one day there'll be a uh, <laughs> there'll be one of those um, Frank Sinatra duet albums that right? come out, right? and all of a sudden Richard Cheese and me are doing something. Then maybe him and Willie Nelson will do something. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> right. so now, where are you where are you from, Swinger? I, I I'm from New York, but I live in Vegas now. Okay, how long have you been in Vegas for? Oh, about 12 years now. That is some city. How do you not get in a lot of trouble there? Or do you get in a lot of trouble there? I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. What do you do? What's um, a <laughs> Gamble, at least? I, 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 uh, I play a lot of Texas Hold'em. Okay. I won a tournament at Mandalay Bay. A I see you got a dice tattoo. I got a couple of tattoos. Dice and cards tattoos. Yeah. Uh, so that Texas means hold them, huh? That's Texas definitely hold signs of a gambling problem. When well, you're tattooing I, I'd, cards. I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather have a tattoo problem than throwing money, right. you know, <laughs> down the toilet. Right. I mean, I, I, you will never see me in a casino at the penny slots going, come on, Wheel of Fortune, come on, 10,000, come on, 10,000. Well, they're playing a skill game, that's why. Yeah, yeah skill game, like craps. Yeah. <laughs> Kino. You know, right. we're talking skill games, that's you know. That's skill, yeah, sure. So you've been out in Vegas for how long now? About 12 years. Okay, and uh, it, you married, you... Oh, uh, separated. Separated. Huh? Yeah, but, uh, but hey, but like thanks a... for bringing it up, man. Yeah. Uh, you married? Any, any restraining orders against you? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> I got married in Vegas. Really? Whereabouts? Yeah, I got married at the... Do you remember? The Venetian. Oh, the Venetian. Well, no, oh, I, don't, very... I don't remember Venetians because it was... A, recently. Yeah, it was about a, a, a year and a half ago. We got mm -hmm. married at the Venetian, but when you said, do you remember, I, I really don't remember. I had to watch the video because right when I was about ready to go downstairs to get married, I saw all these people dressed up and I'm like oh look at these people they were my people they were going to my show <laughs> finally I went down to the concierge level I had three or four double absolutes on the rocks and I uh, was completely hammered I went down the uh, I was spinning <clears throat> my wife's walking down the aisle I'm spinning it was something else to this day, I still haven't told her. Good times, man. How Good times. Thanks, thanks for sharing. I yeah, apologize I, about I, your... I'm, sure, I'm sure your wife is saying, like, going, that son of a. <laughs> the most beautiful day of my life. And he's I was up nervous. there. And he's up, nervous. You were hammered. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was nervous. Because <laughs> you were nervous. That's right. You'd be surprised what a couple double absolutes will do to the nerves. Man, I tell you what. I tell some. Yeah. I mean, you're probably ready to go in space. I was. I was like, <laughs> where, <laughs> where's the shuttle launch? Yeah. I'm ready to go. <laughs> space suit? I don't need no free. Freaking space suit! Well, I was ready to go skydiving. Yeah, I didn't give a rat's ass. Something else. Let's go spelunking but, at the Grand Canyon. Let's make this happen, people. Vegas is just such an unbelievable place. Like I said, I don't know how you live there. You said you don't drink, you don't smoke, mm -hmm. but like you know, we went out to Vegas for that weekend. You know, he doesn't drink either. Bob doesn't, but uh, my but, friend. But I'm not fun in general. So. No, he's not. <laughs> my friend over here to my uh, to my right, dumb. I'll Chris, make a mistake or two. He, he is. He likes having a good time, and I just couldn't get the glass of alcohol 
out of my hand. And I think for the, the fifth or sixth day in a row in Vegas, I was starting to lose my mind. I felt like Jack Nicholson in The Shining. I was like, oh my God, I gotta get, well, I gotta get out of here. 